Okay, alright. Look, there's a robot fucking a dolphin. Ah, uh, how do? Nah, seriously. The world is a poorer place for a candy. The amount of speed that guy done was, well, heroic is the only word I can think of. Next time you read about him or see him on TV, remember that he must have gone through about three grams a day. You only have to look at him to see his true, man. And Mother Teresa are like the old cup of mushroom tea, I've heard. It must be true, the voices in the head in my head told me. I think that the robot I think that robot has just finished a dolphin off with a surprising dildo of questionable providence. Quite why it is surprising escapes me. Just where do mobile phone salesmen loiter when the when the full moon shines in crashed velvet skies? Wait a minute, crashed fucking velvet skies? Well it's obvious where they fucking loiter. In the baby changing facilities in Burger King, the fucking nonsense. I've had what could be described as an interesting day. It started with a fuck and ended with an explosion. That's how I like my days. Never boring. Never the same old shit. Of course, it all takes place in my head. But hey, that's why I'm schizophrenic. The crazy guy who rocks himself to sleep every night. Just, just to keep the bad thoughts away. Nah, it's not that bad, but there have been times when it's been touch and go, man. Strange times. Strange times indeed. Does anyone know where I can get a skate model of Pingu from? That motherfucker should get a Nobel Prize for. Well, for making a sad man happy. The one thing about being schizo is that you're not like every other fucker. You live in, your, in a world of your own design. And yes, it's fucking mental. On the way to the 24 hour spa near my house, I saw the most weird shit ever. There was this guy fucking the fridge as his mate who kebab me to him. I calmly said that if he didn't stop before he came, then he would father a race of super intelligent machines that no terminator, no terminator could stop. Actually, I quite like the thought of a race of man machine hybrids that can smell time and are omnipresent. But I would never fuck one. Just imagine if the great like my laughable member stuck up their innards. I would be tied to a most ill-mannered mistress. But at least I would have plenty of ice. I lament electricity in all its minions. They make a confusing world, disordered and chaotic. But then how would backward Texan that governors kill people? Why? By doing it old school? and stone them to death with specially prepared rocks shaped as doughnuts. It may be bloody and noisy, but at least it gives a nod to our ancestors, who I'm sure would approve. I spend my time looking for women who have unusual and unique characteristics, and by that I mean they, have, they too have been blessed with this cursed contamination I call Alfie, the incredible talking mind. So I can fuck her to the seventh parallel and raise children capable of flight. Actually, I'm a shit shag, so it would have to be done by turkey baster or something. After all, I have an no abnormal sperm and it's only sh fitting it should be delivered by something that makes meat moist. Just saying that gets me horny. Moist meat. I'm off now to empty my guts from this foul and intrusive bowl that's of partially digested food into somebody's handbag. Will you be the lucky one?